Last night, the House considered House Bill 453. Uh, it passed by a vote of one of, of, with 103 affirmative votes. Uh, I cast my vote in the affirmative for that uh, because what, what that bill does is it fully funds our, our budget for the 2017-2018 budget year, and it gets us through, through this uh, uh, budget cycle. Uh, unfortunately, since uh, Governor Wolf has been in office, each year the budget has become more and more cumbersome, and every year the governor pushes for more and more tax increases. I've made it very clear to the governor in years past, and the same as this year, that folks that I represent in Carbon County want property tax relief. They don't want higher taxes. So we've been looking at, you know, how can we fill this gap? You have a budget uh, lapsed from last year of about $1.2 or $1.3 billion. Uh, now that's a one-time lapse. Of, of, of revenue that we need to plug to finish last year's budget and at the same time you need about six hundred million dollars going forward to fully fund this year's budget. Some of it was created from overspending by, by the governor uh, and, and there were a couple of bills that were passed by the House last year that never were signed into law that would have fully funded last year's budget. We wanted to look at every option without having to raise taxes. So uh, we looked at, at, at finding and filling that gap, and that's what we voted on last night. There, there are some uh, fund transfers from, uh, from dormant accounts. There's over 400 different restricted accounts. Uh, so they looked at several of these accounts and, and, and uh, feel comfortable that we can, we can tap some of this. We've done it in the past, uh, some of these reserve funds that aren't being utilized. Uh, it's important to note that we didn't pull any funds from any project that are going on currently. Those are already in restricted accounts and, and funded. These are separate reserve accounts. Um, and also it's important to note that we didn't take any money from emergency services, not one dime. We didn't take any of the money out of any of those funds that go to the 911 for our county. Uh, and, uh, and this would fully fund the, this year's budget and at one time money transfer to fill that gap from last year. I talked to folks uh, throughout my district and, uh, and they, they're, it's loud and clear, they can't afford any more taxes. Some of these folks are, are barely uh, struggling to go month to month to pay their bills and yet you know we have a governor who continues to ask for more from them and I think it's time that we, we look at our state agencies and find out where can we find savings uh, and where this money is out here. But I think it's important uh, that the House sends a strong message uh, to both the Senate and the governor's office that, that we're not in support of, of huge tax increases. I do think there's some things that are still on the table as we move forward uh, but right now, and, and I stick, stick to my guns on this, until we come out with some kind of solution for property taxes, I'm not going to be asking the, the, the residents in Carbon County to be sending more money to Harrisburg. It's time for, for the governor to really come back to the table uh, and, and participate in the process. It's, it's three years now, he hasn't signed a budget. Uh, you know, the first four years in office, we got, we got a budget done on time every year that was fully funded. And, and I'd like to get back to that again, and I would ask the governor to please get back to the table and start negotiating.